shifting gears a little bit uh, from kind of the traditional automotive OEM on your channel, uh, you've been doing a lot of work with like Arkimoto and a few of these other kind of three wheeled electric vehicles. Where, uh, where do you see them kind of working into the kind of automotive landscape and being uh, option as more cars go from being uh, internal combustion to electric? Not everybody can afford a, an electric car. Um, and so um, in my assessment of things, um, a small vehicle uh, with basically a third of the, um, of the weight associated with suspension is gone uh, is a good idea. And um, a lot of folks don't need the big, the big giant car. They don't need a Tesla Model 3 or a Model S or a Model Y or a Model anything. They just want to get from here to there. And, um, and I believe that servicing that market for those people who can't afford the big, glamorous, expensive product, there, there's a giant market there, a much bigger market. The small car market can be very profitable. And, um, and I think that uh, companies like, uh, you mentioned Archimoto, but we're also working with Nobay. So if we look at, th then they've already segmented themselves. So here we've got Archimoto and they have the fun UV, F-U-V, fun UV, right? And, and they have a steering system that's basically um, handlebar. And they're going after a certain market, guys that are, they, they want to have fun. They want the wind in their face and that kind of a thing. Plus, they can be also be a delivery van, okay? A cheap way of getting from point A to point B. Then we've got another one, another company, and uh, they're called Nobay. And Nobay's car is kind of like for mm, younger people, for sure. People who uh, would like to have something fancy to drive around in, but not necessarily break the bank. And they need something that'll um, accommodate their their lifestyle. And their lifestyle is basically, hey, it's the weekend, let's go somewhere. And you can throw your stuff into into the back of the uh, into the back of the car, and you can drive around. And if you happen to find, you know, a really nice place, a woods or something like that, or a, an overlook that is kind of like stunning, you pull in, you. Uh, you can have your sandwiches or, or maybe a little barbecue or something like that. And then uh, you don't have to take off. You can, you can just take the, the front seat and it turns into a bed and you can sleep there. I mean, that kind of, that kind of uh, the only word that I can think of is romantic and no engineers, any their engineers aren't romantic, but that's the only word I can think of. If I was romantic, that's what I would call it. So, but but anyway, this kind of uh, this kind of fun um, and quick response kind of thing that's sitting there, and then you've got another company that we're probably going to be working with um, called Brickland. Okay, so Malcolm Brickland, he had a car a long time ago, and now he wants this three wheel vehicle that, that I don't know goes 200 miles an hour and and on and on and on. This is not this is not what you'd expect out of a three wheel car, but you know what? If we're going to develop, if we're going to uh, develop gyroscopic uh, stability for a vehicle, so it doesn't flip over and stuff like that, uh, if we do it for one, might as well do it for all of them, right? So all these guys, and then there's another one uh, called Indigo, same th same sort of a deal. They're focused on um, short runs, uh, like a like a cab or something like that, where you have a driver, or maybe you just drive it yourself. And they've got a, gi a giant amount of, uh, of uh, software that they've developed, plus a new suspension system. I see that the three-wheel vehicle has a lot more chance of getting ahead <laughs> than anybody going to join. Anybody that tries to go head-to-head -head with, with Tesla is a fool. <laughs> I can't even imagine how they're... How in the world do you survive against this thing? Oh, we're going to make a car just like the Model 3 or the Model Y or the... You're out of your mind. How how are you gonna how are you gonna squeeze into that market? What, what are you gonna do that's gonna be so revolutionary and different? And and luckily Elon said he doesn't want to get into the three wheel vehicle market. That that's that was music to my ears. I'm happy about that. And all of the customers that we've got. So I think that the next big thing is going to be small. It's going to be a three wheel vehicle. So that's why I'm in on it. 
and I've been pretty much, I've been pretty accurate picking the direction of markets for 35 years anyway, so. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to visit our website, connectingthegrid.com. There you can listen to our podcasts, contact us about sponsorship, or even be a guest on Grid Connections. While you're at it, if you found value in this show, we'd appreciate a positive rating on your favorite podcast or video streaming service. Or if you'd simply tell a friend about the show, that would help us out a lot too. Thank you again, and I look forward to us learning more together soon.